Good morning, everyone. Gordon Turnbull at John Knox Church. I'd like to offer a scripture for you today that I think will bless you and uh, make your heart grateful as we head towards Thanksgiving. It's not a Thanksgiving text per se, but, but boy, it gives me uh, uh, a grateful heart to hear it. Uh, it's Psalm 139, and I'll be reading parts of it. Hear God's word. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O oh Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. And if I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your right hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. You see what the psalm is doing here? It's portraying the, the human being and all of the, the, the uh, anxious restlessness that would that would take us searching here and there throughout our world or, or in our own minds, trying to find satisfaction, either trying to get away from God, to flee from God's presence, or to try to seek after God, to discover God's care. And, and we do that when we get anxious. And, and these last few months have made many people anxious. They, we feel dislocated disoriented, we're out of our rhythm, we're off of our true center. This is a psalm that, that locates us in the gracious embrace of the loving God who made us. There's no place where we can go that, that God isn't already there meeting us. And truly, there's no reason for us to go anywhere. Rather, it's best for us to, to welcome God, to be still and know God, as another psalm says. To receive the, the care, the presence, the nurture of the Holy Spirit. And to allow ourselves to experience afresh the love that formed us. The psalm continues in the most beautiful language uh, to describe how it is that God knit us together in our mother's wombs before uh, our uh, substance was even formed. God already knew who we were and called us into existence. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me when none of them as yet existed. So we don't have to worry about whether God is surprised by or upset in these circumstances that we face. We really don't have to worry if the holidays ahead of us are different, if our experience of them is, is, is different, how our circumstances are. Wherever we are, we're not going to miss out on the, on the love of God. We're not going to miss out on God's purpose for us. God's in this with us always. I hope that knowledge blesses you today and that you experience the comfort and peace of knowing that God is with you. Have a wonderful day.